Yes, wait. You're marked. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I'm looking there, I'll get a nice shot of that. <laughs> More. Great. Thank you. So, how is this different from neighbors? Your <laughs> boom. Um, from neighbors. Uh, definitely more budget. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, definitely, we, we got to shoot in Portland, which was kind of cool. I think more than 90% of the crew was made up from Portland locals. So, we had a great chance to kind of, a lot of them hadn't been around sets and they weren't so, you know, jaded by the industry or anything like that. So, we had a lot of fun. Uh, they were kind of, they, they'd been, you know, experienced, definitely a lot more experienced than I was. But, um, yeah, just to kind of all kind of experience something new like this together, it was amazing. And, and, and that's different to Australian sets where everyone's kind of been there for, you know, everyone down at Neighbours has been there for 20 years. So it's kind of like everyone's just like go through the motions. And, and, and whilst it was a lot of fun, um, you know, to experience something new is always exciting and nothing wrong with excitement. So, yeah. Now, how was it? So on Neighbours, you know. You look great, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Um, you don't usually have a lot of special effects going on. Uh, Down at yeah, oh, no. no, no. <laughs> but so, how was it like working with uh, special effects and having to be like, so there's this giant magic thing in front of you, mm. and how much of did you guys have any practical effects, or was it all CGI and you just kind of had to imagine? Uh, we we kind of mixed and matched. Sometimes we'd have actually have a minotaur there, which was terrifying. <laughs> And then sometimes you'd, uh, what they would do is maybe like set a marker on maybe a <laughs> stick and you'd kind of follow that with your eyes. So uh, that was that was an interesting experience. I'd never had to do that. Uh, Neighbours is a, a drama about families. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, this is about Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I mean, a bit of a difference. Uh, so yeah, we... Um, it was a lot of fun, uh, but at the same time, it was a bit challenging having to, you know, kind of pretend like this thing was there, and I guess that's what I'm paid to do, so uh, fingers crossed I was convincing. Talk about how you developed uh, your character in your head, and, and then we were hearing about how there was a family built in in the community of the stones. Yeah. I mean, in the, of the series, so yeah. let's hear about that. Uh, Ezekiel Jones is, uh, at least prior to the show, a lone wolf. Uh, he does what he wants. Um, he doesn't really care for anyone, and um, that may or may not be due to previous experiences with interactions with people. Um, but as, as the show goes, he finds uh, a sense of purpose, not just within himself, but uh, with his actions. And um, to kind of come together with a group of people is something new for him, at least uh, that's the way I had, uh, had, had portrayed him. And um, you know, for him to join a family uh, and actually care about people, that's just ridiculous, that's ludicrous to him. Um, so for him to experience something like that um, and resist it, uh, at, albeit initially, um, you know, it's kind of, it was kind of fun to be able to play. I don't really like you, but I do like you. And as you go on, you'll get to see more of his, uh, his sensitive side. And working with the, ca the cast, how did you guys work out the process? Uh, oh, um, so we kind of, um, we got told day one when we got there, um, to re uh, relate everyone to someone, a figure in our own lives, um, and, uh, and and to keep them quiet, to make sure that you don't actually explain that, because we want to discover that as we go along with with the filming process. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I got there and I saw Christian, and, and uh, don't tell him, but um, you know, I, I related in a lot to some older brother figures that I had in life, and um, yeah, I kind of for me to to get, let that kind of unfold whilst being filmed was kind of incredible to be honest and it really shows some true relationships that you will see in everyday lives but you're just getting eaten while you're at it by big creatures and monsters. So. <laughs> yeah, TV allows that in a way that movies don't necessarily. Yeah absolutely, I love, the, uh, I love the fact that uh, my first American project was something to really sink my teeth into as far as length goes. Um, I feel like with TV series you can kind of have that arc um, have experiences that change you as you go along, um, and, and yeah, I kind of have momentum swings. So I'm uh, I'm extremely grateful to be here. I'm stoked to be sitting in front of you guys, and uh, yeah, may the show continue. I hope hopefully it rolls on. What was uh, how was filming the stunts? Did you guys do your own stunts? Is it super physical? Yeah, um, I wasn't. I, Ezekiel Jones isn't a fighter, um, so I most of my stunts were getting thrown back and things like that, and. Um, I did, I did all of my own stunts up until a particular particular episode, which I'm not allowed to talk about, but they did bring a stunt double in for that, and um, yeah, he was great, uh, his name was Jake, and um, I'm actually going to put some of his stuff in my show reel because he was amazing, so yeah, I'm just going to take credit for his work. <laughs> so, uh, what 
drew you, what drew you to the role, given that it is such a departure from the main Oh, so what happened, uh, I don't want to bore you guys, but pretty much, uh, I came up to the States, I signed with my lovely manager over there, and um, we, uh, <laughs> We, we came out, we auditioned for some things, and... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> I like to embarrass him. Um, so we, uh, we came out and auditioned for some things, and, um, and you know, certain projects you'll read a script and you'll go, uh, like, I mean, at the time I, I wasn't in a position to say no to a role, um, so, but, you know, you'd audition without your whole heart into it. I got the script for this, and it was just like, every time I turned the page, wow, 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 like, and I just could not put it down, and um, I was actually, I just got back home, I re-enrolled back at university, I got my job back at my surf store, I was ready, I was like ready to kind of concede this year to, to university life, and um, I think I was home for maybe a week, and I got sent through the script and put the tape down the next day, and I get a call two days after that, and they were like, uh, you're going to Portland, and I was like, uh, what? What, what's Portland? <laughs> is, that a, is that a place? And so yeah, I was extremely fortunate. Um, as far as what drew me, uh, wow. I mean, like, what, what didn't draw me? You know? It's like you got an incredible cast. Dean Devlin has just such a visionary uh, aspect about his work, and um, John Rogers is just hilarious. He, he'd actually um, he'd been in close contact with a lot of uh, Australian comics that I'm big fans with, so. Yeah, I kind of I knew of some of these people prior to this, and, and once I got the script and I knew who was attached, I was like, I need to work really hard on this tape, and I did, and, and uh, I got cast off of it. So. so you didn't watch episodes of Portlandia, so <laughs> <laughs> what was your experience? Uh, I mean, how does uh, Portland contrast to Melbourne? Portland's nuts, they're, they're, and, and, and I love it, I love it. Uh, they're, they're weird, um, and and uh, and I, if I could live there, I would, because every day something different happens, and, and um, as far as Melbourne goes, Melbourne's very, uh, very relaxed, um, very tame, everyone's kind of, you're either into your sports or this or that, but you know, you're, you're very straightforward. Um, Portland is kind of just one big hurricane of people that decided to do some funny things and uh, yeah I loved it and uh yeah we spent four months there and then and every day I, I miss it ever since we left yeah. now you gotta go watch Portlandia now I do yeah all I yeah. heard about was Portlandia when I got there so <laughs> um it's a uh, apparently it's a very funny show so I'll definitely now that I've got some free time I'll definitely get onto it absolutely in a reference yeah yeah, yeah well now I'll get the jokes because uh, I think back in Australia I think they would have all gone straight over the head um, but yeah, Portland, Portland's a great filming location, and also for my first project to be in Portland as opposed to a Los Angeles production, um, I felt like it kind of helped me ease into the industry a little, I wasn't surrounded by industry types every day, um, so yeah, I, uh, not, not that there's anything wrong with that, it's just uh, to be introduced into the business, kind of like that through Portland, I think, uh, it was good for me, yeah. Now I have a question. Um, did you watch Leverage, the show that they did before that? I did not. I, I knew all about it. Because um, the character of Parker is quite similar. Very to similar. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been told that uh, Ezekiel has similar traits to Parker and, and also um, Aldous Hodges' character. Yeah, yeah Hardison. Hardison. Yeah. Um, so for me to uh, kind of try and replicate, but not even that, because I, I never watched the show, um, but to try and match that level, because people loved Parker, and that's all, I, I didn't know anything about her, so for me it wasn't so much trying to fill those shoes and, and kind of duplicate what she did, it was more a case of, can I bring that same amount of energy and and, uh, and, and that kind of likability, and um, I guess those questions are going to be answered December 7th, so, yeah. Are you going to go back and watch Leverage afterwards, or are you just going to keep yourself away from it? Uh, it's tough. It's tough to for me because to see Christian um, <laughs> in a different role would. I don't know if it would. He has long hair. Yeah. yeah, I won't recognize. <laughs> the hair. Uh, I think um, I've I've seen a few eps. I know they have those Sunday marathons on TV. Yeah. I've, I've, I've gone around to watching a few, and it's just weird seeing Christian like that. He's just so like. It's like not the Christian I know, if that makes sense, because yeah. he's playing an absolute genius in this one. So. Um, but no, at the same time, um, I, I, I enjoyed the few episodes that I did watch, and they had an amazing cast and an amazing chemistry. And uh, you know, there are a lot of similarities. Obviously, we're both productions uh, filming in Portland, um, and Dean Devlin's attached, Ruskin, John Rogers. So yeah, I mean, um, whilst it's like amazing what they did with Leverage, it would be, you know, I'm kind of I don't I don't have those memories. So to come here, I'm I'm kind of just trying to make my new my own ones, my new ones. Yeah. Is this your first Comic-Con experience? This is my first Comic-Con. You, oh, yeah. you guys are my first. I'm sure you hear that all the time. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they, um, 
it, it was trippy. New York's crazy. Um, this is the first time I'm properly in New York, and, and I love it. Ooh. And yeah, um, I came here once, like we passed through, but mm -hmm. I haven't actually had a chance to walk about and see things. So yeah, I think after this, I'm just going to take 5,000 selfies at Times Square, and um, that'll be my trip. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. No.